while I am behind the scenes getting everything ready for your viewing pleasure of the project tonight, here are some things that you can do. Number one, as soon as you come in, please say hashtag live or hashtag replay, depending on what you are viewing. Next, I would love it if you would put a one down below if you are brand new to learning all about Chalk Couture, or you may have heard about Chalk Couture, but you're not currently working with the designer, because guess what? I want to be your designer. Next, if you are already an amazing Chalk Couture designer, please pop a two down below and be sure to throw me some hearts. I would love it if you would go ahead and share this video if you are catching me on Facebook and you are not a Chalk Couture designer. If you're on your mobile device, it's going to be the bottom left-hand side of your video. If you're catching me on YouTube, right underneath the live video to the left of the live chat is going to be that share button. Once again, if you are not a Chalk Couture designer, I would love it if you would share my video. Also, while while you guys are on my social medias, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you're on YouTube, which is right next to that share button. And I would also love it if you turn the bell on. When Facebook gets all wonky, I can always broadcast live from YouTube. But if you're on YouTube, I want you to follow me there as well. If you're on a laptop or a desktop, it's going to be right underneath the title of the video. Um, be sure to hit subscribe or follow and then go ahead and hit that bell to be notified whenever I go live. Next, I would love to talk to you all about Club Couture. If you're not aware of Club Couture, boy, are you in for a treat. It is the hottest club in town. Stick around to see the fun facts all about Club Couture. Next, if at any time you would love to hear all about the Chalk Couture opportunity, the opportunity to purchase a business in a box, and to go ahead and launch your own empire, please comment join down below because I would love to... Uh, uh, invite you into our opportunity group where you can hear all about the designer opportunity and you will have all the information at your fingertips to go ahead and make an educated decision about not just joining Chalk Couture, but joining my team because I really would love to have you. Hey, hey, you guys. Happy Sunday. I hope you guys all had an awesome Saturday evening. I am ready to rock and roll and get my Halloween tier tray together. So let's get everything done that we need to so we can get jumping right into play. Um, let's talk all things Club Couture first. So Club Couture is the hottest DIY home subscription service out there, bringing DIY creativity to your door. Uh, it is $19.99 plus tax in the U.S., $26.99 plus tax in Canada, and it will ship free to you every single month. Now, what will ship free to you? Well, you will get an exclusive size B transfer that only Club Couture customers and designers can get their hands on, along with three coordinating chalk piece singles. But that is certainly not all. Once you join my Club Couture, you will gain access into my private Club Couture group where I go live every month and make three additional projects without fail to give you the most bang for your buck with your monthly Club Couture transfer. Additionally, you will receive exclusive flat rate shipping um, on your entire order. All of my customers currently receive $6.95 flat rate shipping in the U.S., $13.95 in Canada on your whole order. But as a Club Couture customer, you will receive flat rate shipping on your entire order of $4.95 in the U.S. and $9.95 in Canada. I mean, that's pretty awesome. And finally, you will receive exclusive offers directly from Chalk Couture each month with sales that only Club Couture customers can get. This month's Club Couture special is is you will be able to go back and choose from 13 prior Club Couture transfers and you will be able to bring them home for 50% off, which would make it $7.50. I mean, how awesome is that? Now, if you are interested in joining Club Couture and getting your hands on that Fall Blessings transfer, you've got like four days left, guys. It'll end Wednesday at 11.59 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So don't delay. And if you want to do it, all of the details are in the description on both Facebook and YouTube. And you can go ahead and take a look at that all there and along with the link to sign up. Next, let's talk about my next favorite thing. And you know what that is? That is the ability to purchase a business in a box, launch your empire, and join my Chalk Couture team. And I'm going to say an award-winning team because we rock. So 
To join my team, it's only uh, and purchase your business in a box, aka new designer kit. It's only ninety nine dollars plus tax and shipping in the U.S., one thirty five plus tax and shipping in Canada. Your box will contain a value of two hundred and fifty dollars in the U.S., three hundred and thirty in Canada, and will have five three ounce chalk piece, a small squeegee, an apron, a twelve pack of thank you cards, a twelve pack of chalkable chips, a board and base, a nine by twelve porcelain steel Ada magnetic chalkboard. The Read Me, our gorgeous autumn winter catalog, six silk screen adhesive back reusable transfers, and that monthly Club Couture transfer fall blessings. Now, I realize I threw out a whole lot of info at you, and you're probably saying, Jess, gosh, you gave me a ton of info, but I still got questions. No worries. All you need to do is comment me down below and I will message you the link to my opportunity group. In my opportunity group, I have a video that goes over every single detail you need to know in order to make an educated decision about not just joining Chalk Couture, but joining my team. I want it to be a decision that you're totally happy with. Okay, while I finish getting some things uh, done behind the scenes here, here's a little information for all of my new friends who may be joining who are just learning about Chalk Couture. So let's see. Hi. Hi, Denise. Hi, Sheila. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Helene. Hi, Nance. Hi, Mary Egger. Hi, Anita. Hi, Jane. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Kristen. Hey, Carolyn. Hi, Gloria. Hi, Val. Hey, Lynn. How are you? Okay, you guys. Whoops. Why is that not working? There we go. Hello. 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 So I hope you guys don't mind me. I'm hot mess. It was mail out day after my, um, Club Couture, or my, my VIP group sale yesterday. Um, thank you to everybody who participated. And it was also a training day for my um, my first line group, um, my runners. So it's been a little crazy town. So now I'm ready to just have a gigantic squig of water, swig, and build this tier tray with you guys. Um, there is one more section that I, I wanted to do, but we're going to build the tier tray and then I will go back to that afterward. Now I'm going to try and tilt my camera once I have you guys facing downwards. Um, so that way you can see, I just can't, can, I don't get to control the screen once I move my phone. No, that, or my, my, um, here we go. Hopefully it'll, it'll work like this. All right, let's see if I do, whoops, let's see if I go like this first and put that up there. Okay, so don't mind the mess in the background that you're going to see because that's all the stuff that I want to put on, okay? Usually I do this upstairs, um, but because the boys are watching football and it's crazy loud up there, I ain't even going to bother with that. Hi, Diana. Thank you for sprinkling. Oh, thank you for reminding me. We got to do our sprinkle giveaway from last week. So before I add you in, let's pick out of our teal bag and let's pick a winner. Um, come on. Okay. We got a winner and it is Miss Dora Huff. Yay, Dora. You are our share winner for the week. So now we're going to go ahead and we are going to empty the bag. Ooh, we got a lot of them in here today for this week. And let's pick a new, I, you know, the reason I, I keep forgetting, I'm saying we're supposed to say sprinkle and guess what? I can't even, <gasps> no, oh my gosh. It just knocked over my little, my little, um, what is that called? My ma magic ball. Okay. So I got all of the names out, Diana sprinkled. So I got to get your name in. Thank you, Lynn. Hi, Melissa. How are you? Okay, who's... Diana L. Diana L. is our first sprinkle for the new week. My goodness. Hopefully I did not break this. I didn't. Yay. Okay, so I want to go over with you guys real quick the stuff that we made. Yes, congrats to the winner. Hi, Linda. Oh, let's see. Who else did I miss? Hi, Val. Hi, guys. Hi, Carolyn. So we're going to go ahead and add this stuff. So I also want to make sure I tell you we have got three, because two were already taken. We have three more left of our Happy Fall scratch-offs. Um, you don't know what's underneath it. It's a surprise. The way these work are, while I am live, you have to shop in my online store. Um, you have to it's, Once you have an order of $40 or more, after you put the order in, come back and say hashtag happy fall and you will claim. There's only three left. Once they're all cl all claimed, then we go live in my VIP group and I scratch them off and you see what you won. 
Okay, so let's build our tear tray. So remember, this was made out of our Grayson's, ugh, out of our Grayson surfaces, okay? Um, go up, go up, go up, go up, go up. Okay, hold on. After I dropped it now, of course, it's all wonky. We're going to, we're going to get it back though. That's uh, all right. We'll get it like that. So we have our witches in little, um, what is it called? Magic ball. We also have a witches in, uh, witches hat. We've got our all hollows Eve little house. We've got our cute little pillows that we made. We got our witch. We've got our cat, and we have our moon. We've got our awesome farmhouse beads that we made. Now, remember, all these things were made live with you guys, okay? Thank you for sprinkling, Debbie Green. Let me get your name in. What did I do with all the... Where did I stick them? Really? Hold on. Here they are. They fell. Okay, Debbie Green. Hi, Christina. Hi, Frida. So, Debbie Green sprinkled. Debbie, you're in the sprinkle bag for next week's giveaway. Okay, and then finally we made our cute little rolling pins. It says something wicked this way comes. And we made our fun little jars, our Halloween jars with our... Cute little um, chocolate chips. Now, this one is supposed to be filled with, what is this? Uh, what did I say I was going to put in it? Um, candy corn. I didn't get out to the store yet. I've been a little busy. So we're just going to pretend like we filled it for today, just for today's purpose. And I didn't get out to the shed to get the rest of the stuff that I planned to put on this. So we're just going to have to go with it. Oh, wait, hold on. I forgot some other things. We made a little boo block. And we made our happy haunting slash trick or treat five by five shadow box. And we made, oh no, what happened to the little, I don't know what happened to it, but I had a little piece of ribbon on this and we made our fun little candy corn. Now the candy corn, I'm obviously going to be placing next to this because it's going to have candy corn in it. So let's do this, shall we? So we've got our witches in. Okay. I kind of feel like I want it to be on there, but I'm a little, eh, I think it'll stay up. Um, definitely going to wrap my farmhouse beads around the bottom of this little cutie. Plus I got to clean it up from the marker that we used yesterday. Okay. So I'm hoping you guys are able to see where I'm placing things. Let's get this out of the way Put it right now. There it goes. So you can see I did this underneath here. I will tell you the only thing I did grab, I do have my Ray Dunn Boo little cauldron that, of course, is going to go in here because, hello, no tear tray is complete without um, some stuff, some Ray Dunn stuff. And there will also be some Dollar Spot stuff up in here, too. And I think in the Boo mug, I'm going to put my fun little, I just added my cute little moon pillow to it. And we're going to just stick that in there down on the bottom. I'll show you guys all of it. I'm just trying to show how I'm going to build it first. I feel like that's going to be too big for there. So we could put this, actually, we could put this in the front here. Okay. Oh, mama. And because it spins, yeah, baby. We can keep that there. And we could put this here. Yes. I think I feel like we should put the little witch's hat there because the witch is in with my crystal ball. Let's see, we got our cat. We got to definitely put our witch up there, don't you think? Hi, Frida. Hello, hello. Hi, Mary Beth. Okay, so I'm just putting everything together the way I want it. And like I said, this one is actually a much bigger tear tray. I'm so glad I made it because now I've got more things that I can have on it. So there's gonna, it's gonna, it's actually like much better. Um, that actually will not fit there. So we're gonna have no choice but to stick this guy up here. Maybe we'll put the witch hat down around here. Um, oh, we can put the little witch though, the little witch pillow that we made up here with our witches in. Oh, it looks so cute. I'll show you guys. Don't worry. 
actually, I can spin it. I love that we can spin this. It's so awesome. Do you see my little um, glow? What is this called? My little, I keep calling Magic ball, uh, uh, crystal ball. There it goes. My little crystal ball with my little bat and my fun little witch pillow right there. Oh my gosh. I love it. So you got that. I feel like the cat should be somewhere near my witch's in. I think I'm actually going to move her in a little bit like this. There we go. So that way I can put, um, I could put my one little jar up here. I gotta make sure I don't overdo it. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking cute, you guys. It's coming together so nicely. And obviously I'm gonna add in other little things to it. Like that's totally gonna go like that. We need our little kitty cat somewhere. Maybe the little kitty cat should go up here near that. We got our bones. I feel like I'm missing something, but I don't think I am. And then for the top part, I will be doing, I will add something up in this. So you guys can't even see me now. So hold on. Let's see. Okay. Let's change the, change it around a little bit. Let's see. Let me take this down and I'll just go this way with it. So you guys can see. Okay. Ready? And I hope I don't make anybody sick by doing this. Okay, so here I still want to put something like maybe All Hallows Eve. Do not look at that nonsense over there. The All Hallows Eve, or not All Hallows Eve. I think I'm going to do maybe um, Spooky on there or something. So we've got our little boo block. Look at our cute little kitty cat that we made. We got our fun little house that says All Hallows Eve. Our witch with the witches in. That is probably my favorite. And then we've got one of our little rolling pins with the spooks galore. And then as we come down here, we're going to have this filled with cotton, oh, not cotton candy, candy corn. Don't forget. And then we've got our happy haunting five by five box. Our cute little double sided farmhouse beads. How fun is that? Our other little jar that we made okay and inside it you know what maybe we won't maybe we'll stuff it with something else because I feel like I should have something wicked this way comes kind of hanging out so cute I've got my little the witch's in hat I got my boo mug with my little moon pillow oh gosh so all I have to do is something up there okay hold on so you see how easy it was to put that together and I obviously am going to be filling it with some other little like tchotchke things that I've gotten with my BP runs um, or like some other little decor that I had. I may even put in one of my witch brooms that I didn't use. Like I have like a legitimate witch broom here that I might stick down here as well. That might look super cute. But you guys, how easy was that? Don't you just love when things are so easy and come together? If you have cheesecloth, you can put that on the tray to add spookiness. I do, Angie. I just got to go get it. Out. I didn't, I ran out of time getting some stuff out of my shed. It's in my Halloween decor. Um, I love the witch theme too, Rhonda. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Lisa Burton. Let me get you down into my sprinkles. Late, is that candy corn cut out of a house cut out? It can be. I didn't. I actually had some spare rando wood. But you absolutely can. I have a downline that made one out of our house cutouts. So you totally could. And the house cutouts come back this week. Um, Lisa Batten, I'm writing you in real quick. Lisa B. You are my Lisa B. Thanks, Sally. Thank you, Melissa. Hi, Maria St. P. Oh, good. I'm so glad you guys. Like I said, we've got three more of these. While I'm live, if you, until we get all of them filled up, we won't scratch them off in my VIP group. But whenever I am live, the next three people um, that make a $40 order in my online store, you get this. You'll get a scratch off and we scratch them all off together in my online store. Um, I could totally add the spider web for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, I'm going to get it all, at everything added in. I'll probably do it tomorrow and I'll post an updated picture of it. Um, I might even go live and real quick 
Um, I'm sorry that I couldn't give you the view that I normally would. Um, usually when I'm upstairs, I set up the two bases so you can see as I'm building it off to the side and then you can see the overhead. But right now I can't do that because the boys are screaming at the TV. So nobody wants to hear that. Um, but that's it. I don't know if I love when things come together. It's never happened to me. Jan, you're so funny. Hi, Mary Egger. Thank you. Thanks, Celine. Thank you. Hi, Patty Keeley. I love, I, I, I love it. I think it looks so cute. And I am so impressed with my skills for making this tear tray. I can't even, I can't get over it. If you didn't, if you want to see how I crazily made my tear tray and learn the mis learn from my mistakes, just go into uh, my VIP group or my business page. It's the live from yesterday morning on YouTube. It's there as well. But that's what I got for you. Neat. I need to make the tear tray now. This one I have is too small. I agree, Jane. I'm so used to making for such a tiny tear tray. I have so much room and I don't know what to do with it. It's like super weird. So um, I definitely misjudged how much stuff I can put on it. I could have made more. Now I'm a little angry because I could have made more. But that's okay. I'll fill it with some other stuff. It'll be fine. I've got plenty of Halloween things. I'm not even concerned. Um, I do have some super cute little Halloween-y pillow, um, pumpkins that are like spooky, like spiders and stuff. So that's going to be adorable that I got from BP. Um, so there's that. That was crazy skill. <laughs> oh, you're screaming at the TV as well, Linda. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Little Bran is freaking losing his mind. I'm done with this team. I'm done with this team. I'm like, it's three games in. How are you done with your team already? But that's an, that is a Philadelphia Eagles fan. You're done with your team. You say it all the time. Um, it was a hoot watching you with the drill. <laughs> Thanks, Lise. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, you guys. I'm going to let you go. I only have a few more mailing labels I've got to get done. And then everything can go out for tomorrow for my VIP group sale. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. You can get all of these goodies in my online store. Um, all Hallows Eve minis is in. Halloween phrases is in. Um, what other ones? They, those are the only two transfers I think I used for this the whole time. Oh, no. Uh, Damas Skull Damask is in. Um, polka Dots, I believe, is in. Uh, what is that? Jeep, uh, creep, uh, creepers, something creeper. Seasons creepings, I believe is in for the bats. Um, all that stuff is there. So we're all good. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to get any of the stuff, it's in my online store. Link is in the comment or in the de description down below. I hope you guys have a great Sunday. Tomorrow's Monday. So I will be back at one o'clock PM Eastern standard time. And we'll be creating some other fun things. I usually do my Sundays for my, BP finds to create on or like Dollar Tree or something. So tomorrow might be that little brand supposed to be creating a fun little uh, um, Dollar Tree goodie for Halloween for our front porch. So he's going to help me with that. So hopefully it'll be tomorrow. If not, it'll be Tuesday. But I hope you guys have an awesome Sunday. Thanks for joining me. And again, thanks so much for everybody who um, participated in my online sale yesterday. All your stuff is going to be going out tomorrow because I'm going to finish labels right now. So I hope you guys have a great day. Take care and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye.